Hello friends and fellow adventurers, let's get into some Traveler's Rest. Uh, we're at version 0.6, so we're not there yet. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff added. I played I played a whole bunch uh, at least a year ago. I didn't record any of it. Yeah, you can see I've got some things here. Uh, let's go with a new file. And um, when in doubt, you can always consult the encyclopedia in the pause menu. Okay, good. I have no, I'm assuming a lot has changed since I last played, so this is good to restart here. You hurry to finish your drink as another group of customers leaves the tavern. It seems the rest have gone as well, leaving you alone with your beer and the bill. After leaving a few silver coins on the table to pay for tonight's food and drink, you get ready to get up and go, but a voice from behind you makes you stop. Pardon me, I couldn't help overhearing you speaking with your friends. You're completely right. King Cedric's death has been a great loss for the kingdom, a great man, perhaps the best tavern keeper, king of recent times, and a great friend. We were close, you know. Cedric often sought my impartial advice, and I, of course, was all too happy to give it to him. The man pulls his chair close and sits with you. Waiter, a couple of nice full pints, please. Where was I? Oh, yeah, Cedric. You see, really, I wasn't always the kingdom it is today. No, before him there was others. A long time ago, yeah, so... Very long time ago. A Legend scroll unrolls. Legend tells of a kingdom many years ago whose name has been lost to time. A place of prosperity and the good hearted, ble uh, good hearted blessed with peace. From her throne. From her throne, the queen watched the passing of the seasons as bountiful harvests graced her beloved subjects. But nothing, but nothing lasts forever, and the young queen soon fell gravely ill. The kingdom's prosperity faded with its queen, and not ere long, the throne sat empty. For seven, days for seven days and seven nights, nights the, people the people of the kingdom, of the kingdom held awake for her with one question, one question on everyone's lips. Who, who shall, inherit shall inherit the throne? With the kingdom, with the kingdom in disarray, in disarray nobles assembled their hosts and war and ravaged those ravaged bounteous, lands. bounteous lands. Long years of despair, Long years of despair reigned, reigned, but amidst the darkness, a spark of hope ignited far away from that devastated city. From that devastated city. Rygar was a tough, weathered man, a tough, weathered owner, man of a humble, owner of a humble tavern called Traveler's Rest. In desperation, hundreds, In desperation, flocked, to hundreds flocked to Rygar, pleading, pleading for food and shelter. shelter. He responded by he taking, responded them, in by taking them in under his protection. His protection. Rygar and, the others, Rygar and the others built and worked the land, and that humble the tavern humble became the wealthiest became in the kingdom. The kingdom. His followers, his followers founded, founded the fellowship of tavern, tavern keepers and departed to spread his teachings. Thanks, thanks to Rygar, the kingdom teachings. recovered its thanks former Rygar, glory. The kingdom recovered its I'm wearing headphones, glory. and I just I can't really hear that well, but I realize oh, there is narration. <laughs> so. I don't know, maybe I've muted it. Rygar was named the Tavern Keeper King, and the city was called Rilia in honor of the man who had brought hope back again. On his deathbed, he told his disciples with a smile, only one who has served a thousand times can be worthy of being served. With him gone, the Fellowship of Tavern Keepers decided who should be the next king peacefully, just as their leader would have wanted. Neither blood nor riches would ever rule Rilia. Neither blood nor riches would ever rule over Rylia. Since then, Since then the, the Tavern, tavern Keeper King's, King's legacy has lived on, has keeping the kingdom on, strong and prosperous for centuries. And prosperous Until now. Centuries. Now, now the, the castle's, castle's horns, horns are blaring, are blaring and that can and only mean, that one, can thing. Only mean one thing. The Fellowship, the fellowship of Tavern Keepers has, has been summoned. summoned. The most capable in the, the realm are preparing the realm for what is to come. For what is to come, who can surpass the rest, who can of, surpass the the rest of, the of the members of the fellowship for honor, honor and, glory. and glory? Sorry, narrator, I totally talked over you. Oh dear, I got a bit carried away there. I think I've lost count of how many beers we've had. What? You think you can go up against the fellowship? You're out of your mind. Those people are the elite. Their skills far surpass those of the common folk. 
So your mind is set. You got guts. To be honest, I've already given up, but I believe in you. Ever since we first met, I can sense you have something special in you. This is destiny. Turns out, I was just talking to the owner of a fabulous tavern close to the city. If you really want it, it's yours. No dream is too big. The price? Well, keep in mind, we're not just talking about any old establishment. This tavern is a total dump in comparison. How about a thousand gold coins? That's all your savings? Pfft, no matter then. I knew deep down you were all talk. I'm sure you'll find someone else who will. All right, all right, I've got the deed right here. I just need your signature. <laughs> Splendid, that was the best purchase you'll ever make. Although I should warn you about a couple of things first. You see, on your journey you'll encounter various... Are you feeling alright? You don't look good. Maybe you should rest. I think it's already very... Hey, hey, wake up. Whoa. Rosinante, whoa. Torek, just as I promised, right before the nightfall. Haha, <laughs> old Rosinante is still as hardy as a young colt. No idea if that's how you say it. Also, that's a really good character portrait. The horse. Whew. Done. Hey, we're here. You can get off the carriage now. Hello? Thunder and lightning. Alright, so uh, let's see here. We've got... We get to choose our character. Okay. Um, well, the important things. Well, yeah, sure. What color of eyes should we have? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh, no, that was the, the bright. The bright. Yeah, we'll go green. Um, well, I don't know. Do we have a beard? Do we have... <laughs> that That is suitably absurd. What colors can we choose? The giant orange beard? Uh, you know what? There we go. We'll take that. Hair? Uh, what do we want? Yeah, sure. We'll go with a big, uh, and also orange. We gotta have a big orange. Oh, we gotta... I see. We can have a few different shirts. Yep. That's, uh, that's suitable, I think. Shirt two. Trousers. There we go. Purple trousers. Shoes. Who wears shoes? Fools, I tell you. Okay, those look good. Yeah, I like, I like those. Okay. And, uh, I don't know, does nose matter? Let's see, what do we have for noses? That's fine. Mouth, uh, let me check the mouth. Mouth, I, I'm getting a good feeling about the mouth. I think we have mouth turned on, so that's good. And, uh, sure. Uh, what is this? I, I don't know what, to, oh, what? Oh, our skin tone. Okay, um. Well, no, that's, I'll just go with the sheet of paper, as that's probably realistic. Uh, except, there you are. I thought you'd fallen asleep. This is your stop, my friend. Honestly, I cannot, can't imagine what brings you to this godforsaken dump. What? You bought the tavern? Have you lost your marble? I mean, on a closer look, it does have a certain charm. Rustic. That's it. Not that it can't be fixed with a good lick of paint or by setting it on fire. Well then, I'm afraid we must part ways now. I still have some business to attend to in the city. I'm sure we'll meet again very soon. Giddy up, Rosinante. Ride like the wind. I got, That was a, a nice character creator transition. Uh, that was really well thought out. Welcome to your new property. There is much you can do with your land, but for now it would be best to check out the inside of the building. Okay, we can run with L left trigger, A, Y, interact, uh, inventory. Okay, good. So uh, let's interact with this. Okay, we've got non-payment notice, non-payment notice too, eviction notice, and the Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, we're writing this letter to confirm the payment on behalf, your behalf of the full amount of the 250 gold to the Chamber of Commerce's coffers, thus clearing all debts incurred after the purchase of the property, leaving it now free of all debts. Despite the disparagements in your case, we thank you for the regularization of the payment, also to confirm the transfer to its new owner, Hodge Bodge. Please find enclosed the updated title deed signed by Secretary General. All right, uh, let's go very quickly into our options here, and let's turn off flashing lights, because uh, in case that's going to bug anybody. Okay, I don't have any tools. There's nothing going on here. Uh, yeah, the inventory is done. So what do we have here? Reputation, uh, maximum occupancy, 10. The satisfaction, eh, nobody's here. We got our stats about people staying here. Quests, skills, we're going to unlock a bunch of the, these things. Uh, spotless tables, serve drink faster, 
reduction in prices, those kinds of things. Okay, and uh, none of skill points to, you know, pick our nose. There's, uh, we're barely able to walk. All right, what's this out here? All right, so this is our domain, I guess. Let's head in. <laughs> what was that? Probably rats, dude. Probably rats. Need to hire a guy to deal with that. Insolent mortal, who dares disturb my slumber? This place is forbidden. I won't allow some filthy looter to defile this tavern. I'm not a looter. Silence, do not try to deceive me. This tavern has stood for centuries and will remain that way. Leave now, trespasser. Looks like a giant cat. Actually, it's you who's on my property. What? I'm um, its new owner. Here's the deed. I can't believe it. That damned fool. Fine. Wait a moment. All right, lad, you've been tr clearly been tricked. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but this tavern has no future. Trust me, I've watched countless owners pass through its doors, each worse than the last. Unfortunately, my contract obliges me to serve its current owner, but believe me, we're not friends, and this isn't the beginning of a great adventure. Save us both some time and leave this place. I like the the, uh, the transition in the text boxes as well. That's one of those... It, it, it works nicely. You're a magic cat? How dare you? I am I, the Bogart. The guardians of this tavern, since before your great grand great great grandparents were even born, I merely present in this form so your puny mortal mind can bear it. But that's besides the point. Have you listened to a word I've said? Uh, yeah, you're you're a cat. And well, I'm not leaving. I I like this tavern. Gods, what the hell is wrong with him? Listen, it's very late. If you head down the corridor, you'll find an old bed. You can spend the night here, but don't get too comfortable. I want you out at first light. Understand? If you have any questions. Press uh, up. That way you can learn about your current objective without having to bother me further. Thank you for giving me UI information. Okay, first steps. We got a new quest available. Uh, get into the bed in the tavern. <laughs> okay, we got our, our back room. We got a cellar. It's blocked. Don't touch that. That chest belonged to someone very important to me. I don't want anyone else's hands on it. Please. Okay, let's, let's go to sleep. All right, and a new day arises. Good start. Okay, um, so we don't have any tasks. I guess we go, oh, you're finally up. Listen, I'm sorry about last night, but I was being serious. As you can see, this tavern isn't what it was. I know it's disappointing, but I'm afraid the previous owner swindled you. Now that you have some more time to think it through, you really should leave already. I told you, I'm not leaving. Well, good luck. I won't be helping you one bit, even if you take the mop from the chest in the bedroom and clean the floor and tables. You'll never see me again. <laughs> what do you say the mop from? Was it the closet or the bedroom? Clo uh, so we've got some beer making stuff there. Is this the closet? What is? I thought this might be a staircase. Uh... Where, what else do we have here? There's all, it's disgusting, that's for sure. Okay. Cellar's blocked. What do we have here? Variety of nasty things. Um, the cake is empty. We don't want to open any of those taps. Oh, take them off from the chest. Oh my gosh. I love it when games just uh, put, do the thing. <laughs> I think he's did. For some reason, I thought he said, like, cupboard. <laughs> okay. Sort by type. Uh, yep. So, how do I. There we go. Press Y to move it. Good. Then I'm assuming as soon as I get close to stuff, it'll allow me to. Okay, uh, how do I... There we go. Clean. Oh, you gotta hold it down. Alright. There we go. Let's clean this joint up. So that's pretty good, uh, pretty good onboarding. The story, you know, the too not too much explanation given, which is nice. Can I clean that? See, I would clean that. <laughs> 
Uh, clean the table. There we go. Okay, how do we clean the table? Oh, there we go. I gotta stand at the end. Wipe it down. There you go. Good as new. Look at that. Ting! Alright. Look at that. It seems you're not that useless after all. Mm, uh, just give me time, buddy. Thank you for everything you've done, but a bit of mopping and cleaning some dirty dishes won't fix this tavern. I distinctly remember you saying you'd, I'd never see you again. Insolent fiend, I've only disdained to be uh, appear to you because... because... Uh, that's none of your business. The tavern being a bit cleaner doesn't mean you're going to get any customers. For starters, you should move the benches next to the table. How do you expect people to come in if there isn't even a place to sit? To serve customers, there need to be available seatings for them so that they'll be able to... Uh, uh, table of seating. Enter decoration mode by pressing the D-pad. Place this cursor over an item and pick it up by pressing A. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. So we're standing next to an item. Move. And then we go, uh, place. That is uh, quite intuitive. Oh, pick it up. And it's, it's I, I like that it auto rotates as you get close. That seems like that's well thought out and back out of there. Hmm, all right, that's somewhat better, but still rather dull, don't you think? Not that I care, but I found some decorations inside one of the boxes here. Do what you want with them. Throw them in the bin for all I care. Dying plant, shabby table centerpiece, and a framed painting. Okay, let's place our new items. Uh, so I'll go into oop, my inventory. No, oh, I'll put... Okay. Oh, I see. I put these into my... Is that what I do? Place. Where can I put this thing? Uh, oh, I see. It's only within this area here. Why would I want to put this anywhere here? Okay, well, let's put it over here. Uh, we can put another one there. And we'll put this on... Can I put it on a wall? There we go. Look at us. Ugh, rather depressing, don't you think? This place looks like a crypt. Perhaps we could fix that with a bit of light. I know, take these candles. If customers can't even see what they're eating, they'll get upset. Make sure there's always some source of light at the tables to keep them happy. So what I like is... Uh, I Yeah, it does a good job of explaining to you what you're attempting to accomplish here. So that's really good. Um, place the candle on the table, okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got some candles. That's better, though I should warn you, the candles will gradually get consumed till nothing remains. Make sure you have enough to replace them when it happens, because I can't spend my life continuously handing you new candles. Well, I could, but I won't. Now, this looks splendid. Now it looks like a real tavern. Dot 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 dot. What? If you dislike my old furniture that much, buy your own, why don't you? This is what you have for now, so deal with it. Anyway, the decor hardly matters now. Here's the key to the cellar. There should be some beer in the barrels below. You'll have to fetch it if you want some, something to serve. Oh, I should say, I haven't been down there in a long time. If I were you, I'd bring the mop, in case you have to deal with any of those horrible rats. Okay, pick up ten bell smelling beers. Clear the cellar of rats. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming I can... There we go. <laughs> That was a good guess. Oh, that's very nice. I've got some rat meat. Aww. Okay, let's open the aging barrel. Okay. So I guess I have what I'm gonna get. You made quite a racket down there. Did you find the beer? Yes, and I got rid of the rats. What, you killed them? How could you? Uh, I was only kidding. Earlier, gods, poor Mr. Radicus just got married. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. I'm sure we can make good use of all that rat meat. Have you seen the crafting room left of the bedroom? Meet you there. Okay, what are we going to uh, serve some rat? Okay, see those two tables in front of you, the left one with the knives. Oh, some dishes require complex ingredients that you'll have... 
that you'll have to prepare at the food prep table. First, you'll but see. Some dishes require complex ingredients that you'll have to prepare at the food prep table first. But seeing what you did with those rats, I'm not leaving you alone with the knife, so let's try something simpler first. What about some rat skewers? Should be as easy as approaching it and interacting with it to choose the recipes you wish to make. Don't let all the grease and grime put you off. That's what we, what will really give your dishes some flavor. Rat? I'm not sure. Hey, don't you want to learn how to run a tavern or not? If you happen to be carrying some rib steaks in your pocket, now is the time to get them out. All right, rat skewers coming up. That's what I like to hear. And try not to overdo them. I like my rat medium rare. Okay, let's open this. Oh, I don't know how to use this. Is it? Okay, let's get a rat. Okay, rat skewer. Might squeak past a health inspection. <laughs> Top-notch rat pun. Uh... That's it. Nice and crisp on the outside and juicy on the inside. Let's go back to the dining room before they get cold. Okay, see that table on the left of the bar? With the hook of the book up on top? That's the tavern's menu. When you add new dishes to it, customers will order them to eat. Go on and approach the menu table and press A to add the rescuers. Hurry up, my stomach is rumbling and Mr. Radicus has always looked delicious. Okay, so let's open it up, and we're going to put, uh, oop, I guess we put all of it there. Uh, okay. Oh. What are you doing just standing there? You don't mean to sir you don't mean to serve the rat skewers without a nice drink to wash them down. Any idea how thirsty rat meat can make you? Drinks must be added to one of the two types of dispensers. From the taps of the bar, you can always serve carbonated drinks like beers, while the kegs in the wall, you can serve any kind of drink. It's pretty simple. Even you should be able to remember it. Come on then, add the beers to one of the taps so we can get this party started. Okay. So open it, add that, and I don't know what this means. Oh, I see. Okay, we can give it a color. So let's stick with blue. Ah, that's nice. So we can we can do that. It gives it a little color on it. Great. Looks like everything is finally ready. Give me a moment. It's been a long time since I've done this. What do you think? I know, right? You should see your face. Looks like you're beginning to understand who you're dealing with right here. <laughs> and that's not all. I just need to concentrate a bit and done. Whew, that was harder than I thought. I hope I remember which one of us is the original. Anyway, where were we? Ah, right. As I was saying, customers won't just drop in any time they like. For people to come to your tavern, the first thing you need to do is open it. See the sign at the top left of the screen? You can press the D-pad to open and close the tavern when you want. That said, when you choose to close the tavern, first, last orders will be called. That means no new customers will arrive, and the ones who've already been served will leave once they finish th until the tavern closes on its own. Let's do a test. Open up the tavern first so your customers can begin to arrive. Okay. Open. Okay. Serve five rat skewers. They're going to eat. Oh, I'm waiting for more customers. I see we're on Tuesday. Oh, more customers. Well, hello there. Would you like a rat skewer? Okay, would you like a rat skewer? Would you like a rat skewer? Oh, and you want one too? As people eat and drink in the tavern, the floor and tables may start to get dirty. When this happens, you'll have to clean them so that your reputation among your customers doesn't decline. You may at times feel the urge to strangle them for making such a mess, but remember, that's not the kind of service we provide here, at least not for free. What's this? Is there nothing to drink in this tavern? Bring out the beer. Unlike food, drinks can be ordered at the bar or from the tables. When you see an order, the drink they're asking for will appear with a color label matching the dispenser where you've kept it. That makes things a lot easier. To serve it, approach the corresponding dispenser and hold A to add it to your tray. Once you use, have it, use A with the customer at the bar or at the table to give it to them. In the action bar, you can see the drinks you've added to your tray. You hold RB, you'll empty the tray, and the drinks will automatically return to the dispensers. Okay, serve five foul-smelling beers. Oh, that's seven. Okay, let's... I think. Uh, 
it, I, that's an A. Oh, they've got to ask for the beers. Do I have any more? Yeah, I've got two beer. Not everybody wants a beer yet. Is that the deal? Let's give that a little wipe up. <laughs> okay, yeah, there you go. Clean that mess up. So it's nice you can kind of do things at multiple times here. Oh, I see. It's showing me how many I have left. That's what it's giving me. Sometimes a customer will be dissatisfied with the service and begin to complain. When this happens, it's best to approach them and try to calm them with A. Give it a go and best of luck. Although knowing myself, it might not be enough. Oh well, it looks like that didn't help much. Sometimes words aren't enough in this type of reaction. Select them up and hit her with it using... <laughs> Don't worry, I barely feel anything. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. Shoo. Oh, take it easy. That hurt. Well, now that the angry customer is left, you can keep serving the rest. Yeesh, that smarts. So far, you view the basics of running the tavern. Serve food, drink, clean tables and floors, and dealing with rowdy customers. Keep practicing for a while. Remember, you can review the information in the tutorial. So it seems straightforward enough. Um, I will see. Deplete your stock of foul smelling beers. Okay. Oh, they want a. Uh, I think they wanted a skewer. What is this? I'm not sure what this means. Clean. Oh, you want a beer? All right. Yeah, I don't know why that's showing there. Okay, let's get rid of our last two beers and then the decal disappears. Serve, serve. What? <laughs> no more beer? <laughs> but it's barely getting started. If you run out of stock, people will start keep ordering food and drink. It can create a magic gruel with which to feed your customers, but it tastes rather bland. I doubt you'll earn much money with it. Yes, it's a rather curious power. I learned the spell on one of my trips to... Oh, never mind that. The point is that with drinks, there's not much that can be done. If you have nothing in your taps or kegs, people will ask for glass of water. I know, completely devoid of taste, but you humans seem to love it. Remember that empty bucket you picked up from the chest? Go outside and fill it in the well. Once it's full, add it to a keg so you can serve glasses of water to your customers. Okay. Oh, right. I keep forgetting I can walk fast. Okay, I don't know where the well is, so let's go find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, collect water. And then we got a bucket full of water. Let's get back in there. Serve five glasses of water. Okay, she wants a, a skewer. Let's clean it up. So yeah, it's interesting. It does. It just gets kind of dirty after a while. Now, do I need to put the water into a tap? Doesn't seem like I do. Ah, there we go. Pour a drink. So we just put it into that keg and then we're good. Hello, friend. What can I get you? Rat skewers? You betcha. 
You want some skewers as well? They're the best. Oh, no, you want a glass of water. Yeah, I like that when the table's clean, you can just do a little swipe and then everything's good. Can I get you anything? No? I don't understand why this says water, like what that's about. It says... Yeah, no, I don't, I don't understand. Oh, uh... Ah, I'm so full. I'd say we're done for today. It's best if you close and get some rest. I have a few things to tend to, although if you want to keep practicing, open the tavern again and I'll create more copies. But I recommend you go to bed. Tomorrow, a tough day awaits. Rest well. Last call. Wipe it down. Alright, you can go now. <laughs> There we go. Do I have to clean up cups? No, looks like everybody kind of does their thing. Okay, get into bed. And sleep. I think that did it. Alright, well that was, I'd say that's a decent tutorial. Uh, it doesn't overstay its welcome and now hopefully we kind of get going it's good because it is it gives you you know some nice options of doing things so it's it does definitely require a little bit of explanation good morning rise and shine sleepyhead come on we've got a long day ahead if you want to open the tower and there's lots of things we need to prepare things to prepare what things oh look i admit those rescuers weren't half bad but you surely don't expect to attract much of a clientele with rat meat and spoiled beer right i pulled some strings in the city so for now i need you to take the shopping list and collect some provisions i'm flat broke i know i've used some savings to pay for it all when you speak to the vendors they'll give you what i've ordered without asking for money don't get used to it though i'm not handling you every gold time gold every time you need it you hear me Good. Now follow the road towards the west and pick up everything on the list. You'll find a lot of it at the market, but you'll also have to get some supplies from the sawmill, the forge, and the city's own tavern. Time to get going. Once you have it all, come back here and we'll get to work. Okay, we got a nice little checklist. Almost forgot. Be careful with Rhea and Leah. They're good people, but a bit strange. Don't let them talk your head off. Okay, so to the west. What does this say? Foothills, Riverbank, City Market. All right, so oh, we got a, a sign here. It's going to tell us where all the things are. Oh, I like that. That's good. And there we are. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is great. So let's go up to the this thing and to the left, and then right here. It must be Ria and Leah. Look, Leah, we have a customer. I think it's not just any customer, Ria. He must be May's new little mouse. What's the kitty up to now? Tee hee. What a mischievous kitty. Look at him, the poor thing doesn't even know why he's here. Yes, he's scared stiff. If you're a good little mouse, you've got nothing to be afraid of, right, Leah? Of course not. We help good mice, but the bad ones. You're scaring him, Leah. Remember what Mai said. You know how sharp kitty claws are. How boring. Mai is the only one who can play? What in the world are you talking about? See, Ria, now he wants to know. Now he's curious, but he shouldn't ask because curiosity. Kill the cat. I better leave. Oh my, what a proud little mouse. Look, Leah, he wants to say leave without saying goodbye to us. He can't leave. Mai told us to give him his order. Here, little mouse, this is for you. You can visit us anytime. A friend of the kitty is a friend of Leah and Rhea. Of course, where else would the little mouse get plants and seeds? Only bad mice would get them from the competition. Isn't that right, Leah? He wouldn't do that to us, Rhea. Would he? No. I told you, Rhea, he's a good little mouse. If you need anything else from us, just talk to me or my sister. After all these years, we're experts. <laughs> all right. Let's talk to... Uh... Kajaku, smell that? That's the sea. Everything before you was fished in the traditional way. I may be old, but these two, uh, yeah, this hand and this hook still knows their way around a rod. Believe it or not, even an old sea dog like me needs some help from time to time. Luckily, my daughter Hikari has inherited my passion for fishing. She often takes care of it while I manage the shop. Hey, <laughs> don't worry about that. I know exactly why you're here. I recognized you as soon as I saw you arrive at the market, wandering around like a lost sardine. So the tavern on the outskirts, eh? Oh, you lucky lad. The world belongs to you young people. Watching you go running after your dreams makes me so nostalgic. I'm sure our paths will cross often from now on. No one can escape the chaotic and unpredictable swell of the sea. Browse to your heart's content. 
Our fish will delight even your most demanding customers. If anyone can bring that tavern back to life, it's you. I can see it in your eyes. Even the strongest hurricane can't overcome a determined navigator. <laughs> ah, if you see my little Hikari, don't hesitate to chat with her. She's always been such a cheerful and wholesome young lady, but lately she's lost her way. I've been trying to help her, but I'm sad to say this old man's more skilled at dealing with fish than with his own daughter. Perhaps she'll be more willing to open up to someone her old age, own age. Loneliness can be a refuge, but if it becomes a habit, it can become a prison for the spirit. I learned that the hard way, and I'm still paying the price for it. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, he, he's definitely... Uh, he's Some things happen there. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. Let's go to the right here. Uh, yeah, these, uh, these characters are very well drawn. Oh, let's look at our map again. Uh, so we've got... Chuck. Okay, we gotta go see Chuck and Agatha. So let's go see Chuck and Agatha. Chuck, who's selling Chuck. Oh, uh, hello! Oh, gods. Oh yeah, welcome to Otto and Sons Butcher Shop. The best cuts of meat in the city, the best price. My name's Chuck. My dad recently put me in charge of the business, and I'm getting the hang of it. It's been a bit hard, but I'm gonna show him I can handle it. Sorry, I'm getting off track. What can I do for you? I think it's the first time I've seen you at the shop. Would you like to try our veal cutlets? They're finger looking good. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. What are you on about, man? Uh, I think you have an order for me? An order? Ah, oh, wait a sec. I must have written down here somewhere. Oh, no. Where did I put my notebook? Ah, here it is. Okay. Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, an order in my name. Already paid for. Uh, yes, this is it. Here you go. You're getting a premium selection. This meat is so tender, it'll melt in your mouth no matter how you prepare it. Whether it's stewed, grilled, braised, or... Uh, this is me making me hungry. Do you think my dad will get angry if I take a short lunch break? Stewed, roasted, baked, or boiled. So, are you selling me? Is this is your father's name Swift? By any chance? I'm a little concerned. Welcome. Let me guess. That determined look, that poise. No doubt, you are the new owner of the tavern outside the city. Poor thing, buying that rundown dump must be out of his mind. It's certainly been a bold acquisition. This tavern has been closed for years, but I'm sure, with my help and a fine touch here and there, soon business will be booming. As will my income. This guy will need to buy everything new. But where are my manners? I'm Agatha, the most famous decorator in the whole city. My furniture and items adorn the most extravagant homes and businesses in the realm. If what you need is good taste, you're in the right place. What do you say? May I interest you in a pair of sculptures? How about some elegant contemporary paintings to liven up the place? Or perhaps something more practical? Some tables or chairs to increase your tavern's capacity? Truth is, I have no money. You don't have money? Then what are you wasting my time for? I have customers to attend to. Very important ones. Come to pick up an order. Ah, you should have led with that. You know I'm here to help. Let's see, an order in the name of my, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I see some paper coasters, a rug, and three candle holders, right? God save me. What a paltry order. Here you go. I suppose you've got to start somewhere, but I assure you, you won't get very far if you only buy the most basic items. Customers need to be wowed. The more you decorate your establishment, the more satisfied your customers will be. Don't forget that. I have everything you need. Just come to my stall and ask about my wares. Better not come back with empty pockets. Okay, let's go visit Amos. What, so what is this? The, this is the, the king. Only one who has served a thousand times can be worthy of being served. Alright, so we got Amos down here. We got Woody there. And uh, we want to talk to Petra. Okay, so let's go, go, I think it was, was it down here to the right? No. So over here and then kind of down to the right. Let us see. Yeah. This must be Petra, right? Petra? No, Holmond. Good day, I think this is the first time I've seen you around these parts, right? Of course I'm right, I never forget a face. Oh, ho, ho. I'm Holmond. I know a funny name for a funny man. What brings you to our forge? Just having a look or you come to pick up an order? Well, never mind. Either way, you've come to the right place. My lovely wife and I will attend to you inside. We run the business together. As well as beautiful, she's the best artist in our city. My work won't let you down. As for me, well, not to put on airs, but I'm very good with the forge too. I'm usually in charge of the tools. Give me some good materials and I can make you an axe that will slice an anvil in half. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, say goodbye. I'm going to go inside. I suspect that... Is that Petra that I'm looking for in here? Are you Petra? Yes. You're finally here, Clive. What took you so long? I've been waiting for the new minerals for that. Hold up. You're not Clive. Who the hell are you and what are you doing in my forge? 
Ah, say no more. Yeah, of course. You're the tavern guy. Sorry, when I'm working, I get so focused, I often forget everything else. The heat of the flames, the tapping of the hammer. This is paradise, don't you think so? Ha <laughs> you'll soon get it. I'm Petra. Me and my husband run the shebang. But I'm guessing from your order that you're interested in learning the waves of the forge. Great choice. Soon you'll know how to hammer beauty from a sad little bar of metal. You have my word. Here you go. With this, you should have everything you need to begin. Smith is no way of walking the park, but you've come to the right place. My help and halls, you'll soon have work metal as if it were clay. Good luck, my friend. Sorry about earlier. The flames of the forge make us passionate, and sometimes we get carried away. We might be fiery, but we're friendly. Really. <laughs> Anything you need, you can ask me or my beau. He's a stud working outside. He knows all there is to know about forging and weapons and tools. And the way to a woman's heart. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we got a lot of stuff. Um, there we go. Here's our map again. So we gotta go down uh, main drag and then down at the statue and to the left. So this is uh, so far so good. Yeah, I love it. This town feels uh, definitely like it feels alive. It feels like it has some stuff going on here. Um, it's 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 like sumptuous. It has you get the feeling that you're actually in a town. Like it's not. It doesn't feel dead. It doesn't feel you know. Yes, yeah, like all these little details. Like you can't go down there, but it does hint that there's a thing down there. Don't know what this is. I feel like I'm gonna one day get to find out. Uh, is this gonna be? This is probably the tavern. You must be Amos. Amos. Ah, it's you, right? Yes. Welcome to the last swig, the best tavern in. Ah, well, you can guess the rest. You okay? Me? Yeah, of course. You don't seem happy. What do you mean? I'm beside myself with joy. Isn't this the face of a man who has it all? Well, you were here for an order, right? Here you are. You need anything else for your tavern? Come by, or, or not, I don't much care. I don't understand, you sell supplies to the competition? Man, money is money. I have a whole bunch of furniture and workstations gathering dust in the attic. For a fair price, they're all yours. In any case, I wouldn't get too excited. That tavern of yours has passed through many hands, but it always ends up the same way. You want a piece of advice from an old hand? Just quit while you can. Lower you set your expectations, the less painful the fall, but it's all up to you. Thanks, I guess? Don't mention it, the time of dreams and great camera keepers is over. The Fellowship controls all the biggest establishments in the realm, leaving the rest of us poor sods to settle for leftovers. Well, good luck, you're gonna need it. Remember, if you need any more ingredients, we're right here every day, year after year. <laughs> I think the sawmill is just over here. Again, really, really beautifully done. Wow. Okay, let's go in here. I, well, I just want to keep exploring, but I were, you know, we've seen a lot. Oof, I can barely feel my arms already. How does an oak manage to stand up? Wow. Oak, I need quiet. This part is complicated. He's uh, sculpting a giant eagle. All right, let's just go talk to the, the Woody. Uh, what? <laughs> it's funny, it's like, it, like whenever I play these games, uh, you know, I try to give them some character. But when when you see the character, you're trying to like immediately think of like, what does Woody sound like? <laughs> There's about 200 different things that came up. I don't know how Woody's gonna sound. He looks like he's pretty chipper. I don't know, Woody. Hello, welcome to our wood shop. What do you need? Have you come for tools, blueprints? I'm sure we can help you. Although we're pretty swamped right now. Ha <laughs> ha. Hold on, you're the new owner of the tavern outside the city, right? You're a brave, brave man. I passed by a couple of times and that place is falling apart. But don't let that stop you. I'm just like you. Where others see nothing but a rack, I see a canvas to work upon. I'm rooting for you. Oh, sorry, I'm Woody the head carpenter. Since the old oak retired, I'm the one in charge of keeping all this afloat. <laughs> Well, enough chit-chat, you're here to pick up an order, aren't you? Your friend was here yesterday, and she was a bit odd, but really convincing. I got everything you asked for, although, of course, they won't do you any good if you don't know what to do with them. Carpentry is not easy, but it can be incredibly rewarding once you get the hang of it. If you need advice, new machines made, or the odd blueprint, I'm your man. Drop by the shop anytime, and I'll lend you a hand. Don't thank me. I help you now, and you can help me another day. People like us must support each other. Board by board and nail by nail, I'm sure that old tavern will be as good as new in no time. My thought was, as a as a carpenter, he's a, a person of precision. So he's he's not going to talk uh, 
with too much grandiosity or laziness or... All right, let's head back out. Yeah, that's that's good. Uh, see, that feels like a universe away. That feels like a lot, and yet here we are. So let's take a look. What do we have? Oh my gosh, like what don't we have? <laughs> okay, so let's get our decorative things. Our coasters, our candle holders. Uh, so we got our chicken meat that will be cooking up, and the steaks will be cooking up. I've got to have to plant some stuff outside here. This is bananas. Uh, okay, so you've got a rug. There you are. You took your time. I was starting to think you weren't coming back. All right, then. You have everything you need. Customers come for this tavern for delicious meals and drinks. How about a bit of grilled steak? Can you manage that? You know, pan seared. Easy enough, right? Go to the oven and prepare a few dishes of grilled steak. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye to make sure they don't get overdone. In the oven, you can cook various dishes. As you've already seen with the rescuers, some can't be modified. And you just need to have all the ingredients to make it. However, with other recipes, you can choose different ingredients to create unique variations. In this case, we must prepare the grilled steak with beef. Okay. Grilled steak. Oven. Okay. This. Uh, okay. Okay. As you can see, you have grilled steak recipe. There's some recipes that are unmodifiable, and so you, all you have to do is select them when you have enough ingredients. When you select recipes that do use modifiers, however, you have to choose which ingredients you add to them. Different ingredients will change the dish's value, so check thoroughly before confirming to make the dish. To start with, let's make some grilled beef steak. Fire up the stove. Grilled steak. Craft in an oven. Grilled steak. Okay, so that's all I know. Beef. Oh, okay, I can only do that. No modifiers. Except. That's the food sorted with... Well, it gets better. We should start making our new beer. See that table with the sieve next to the oven? Uh, yes. First step is to malt the grain we're going to use. Approach it and select the malt recipe, and then choose wheat to begin the process. I don't know how to use this. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Where's there's our malt, our grain. I thought it was the other one. Oh, okay, it's this one. <laughs> it doesn't look like it has a sieve. I guess that's the thing hanging up. Is that the? Okay. Uh. Oh. Grain. Wheat. Start to malt the wheat. Okay. I see. I need to, I guess I added both things. That's it. Now we just have to let it settle. In the meantime, we'll go outside. I want to show you something. Ah, uh, fresh air. Like I was saying, the key to success when running a tavern is knowing how to manage your time and your products. Now we're preparing a few things, but when we open, customers will deplete our stock soon enough. Of course, you can go to the city for ingredients or anything you need, but if you want to maximize your profits, the best thing to do is to produce our own ingredients. Rhea and Leah will have given you a few seeds, right? No time like the present to start working our crop fields. Choose an area and make sure they're cleared of weeds with the scythe. Last thing you need are weeds creeping over your crops. Once the area is clear, you can use your shovel to remove the grass and then the till with a soil with a hoe. If there's any obstacles in the way, try to remove it with your new tools. I've been meaning to get around to it myself, but you know, I've been really busy the past few centuries. Okay, so I think we'll just maybe make the field... I don't know, where do we want to put it? Probably here? Seems like a good place. Uh, so let's go grab the, the scythe. Okay, so we're getting plant fiber. I'm assuming we'll use that at some point. Okay, and then let's go and uh, put our meat down below, and let's grab... I'm going to grab this axe and see if we can't... Can I cut down this? Okay, how do I get rid of this? Okay, so there's my... Oh, pick up. There we go. 
Okay, so let's go over here and like, let's make a little... Oh, no, uh... There we go. Okay, now we got a uh, till. There we are. I feel like we're probably not going to be doing tons of farming. But this is it's pretty clear. Okay. Hey, not bad with those twiggy arms of yours. I didn't think you had it in you, honestly. Now the hard part is over. You just need to water the soil before planting the seeds. Here, I have this watering can kept somewhere. Select it and press X to water the soil until moist. Okay, so let's get rid of our tools. Okay, plant three wheat seeds, three bitter hop seeds. Okay, so we got three of each here. Oh, these are... <laughs> All right. Well done, you can always grow fruit trees. They don't need planting and tilled soil, nor watering. They won't even die once the season's over. They're a real marvel. What a shame they're so hard to acquire. When you go to the city, ask Rhea about tree sprouts. She may be odd, but there is one thing she enjoys even more than torturing her customers is to spend hours talking about fruit trees. Same difference, really. Okay, plant the olive sprout. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, um... So I'm guessing we'll plant this. How many? Oh yeah, okay. There we go. So I will plant that there. Well, one less thing to worry about. Let's get back inside. We're gonna check out the crafting room now. There you are. It's time to continue making drinks. Be warned, not everyone is cut out for the art of beer making. The subtle nuances, getting the consistency right. There are many details that could turn your drinks into the nectar of the gods or ruin them completely. It depends on you. I'll do it. Well, at least you've got the right attitude. First of all, pick up the wheat malt. Remember, we started preparing something earlier. Take it and use the ferment ta fermentation tank. That thing that looks like a stone oven to the left. Okay. Collect that and open it up. And we're going to make a lager. There's a whole world of drinks, but uh, out there with out there with which you could satisfy your customers. But for now, it's best you start with a basic lager. Once you have the ingredients, it's a very similar process. To start making dishes, you just need to select a recipe, choose its ingredients, and confirm to start making it. Go ahead. Okay. There we go. Not enough ingredients. Uh. Malt. This. Okay, how do I add more? It says that, it says that. Bitter hops, okay, and it doesn't tell me that there's another one. Huh. Do I need to make more malt? Lager, okay, so, oh, I, I see, it says I need I need a bucket of water, which I don't have, because uh, I use it. Let's go get a bucket of water. It, it doesn't tell you on the initial thing, but it tells you the other thing there. Uh, let's see. Collect some water. It's funny that it then puts it here. It becomes a new object. Okay, we've used up that, and let's go dump it in. Okay. So now we can see on that list there, on the, the top logger, we have the water. So put that there, put that there, and away we go. And we got our bucket back. Great job, we've almost got everything we need. As well as food and drink, we'll need materials to fix up the tavern. I hope you're ready for some backbreaking work, young man. You've probably noticed, but all our work has used up the crafter's fuel supply. So we need to add more fuel to keep making things. And we can hardly open the tavern to the public in its current state. It might hold some charm for some, but I suspect you'd rather attract customers with at least a couple of coins to rub together. Whew, we shouldn't have even begun. 
and we're already behind schedule. How about we go outside and get started? Alright, let's do this. Alright, first we need some wood planks and firewood. The planks you'll get by processing wood in a sawmill. Oh. Place the sawmill to create a carpentry zone. Once you have it, you can place the stump with the axe inside this new zone. Okay. Place the sawmill. So which one, I am guessing, is it this one? Oh. Workbench, and this said sawmill. Okay. Okay, uh, so we're going to create a carpentry zone. <laughs> Now here's the thing, these games I like. It's like nice to begin as you mean to go on. Um, where do I want to have a carpentry zone? I feel like I'd probably want to. Whoa, hello. <laughs> um, place the stump with the axe in the carpentry zone. Can I place this here? No. So I'm gonna need to clear out an area before I can actually. Is that the idea? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if it's kind of pushing me to put it here. Although this feels like a place for mining. Um, I feel like I could put it here if I clear out a few things. Okay, let's deal with this. Uh, pick up. Okay, let's go grab our axe. Now, I don't do we have stamina anywhere. <laughs> I'm looking and I'm not seeing it. Because I feel like this would be a good carpentry zone. Really? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Open it. Um, so I need to grab the... It's wood. Place the stump with the axe in the carpentry zone. Oh, okay, here we go. Stump with the axe. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I don't know where I want to put that. What's the... Is there an optimal... Put it there. Sure. That looks good. Nice. Now we need some wood to process your uh, process. Use your axe to chop down some trees or remove some wood obstacles. Once you have enough, approach the newly placed sawmill and stump to craft your new materials. Okay. Uh, craft. Okay, that's good. And do five planks. Done. Excellent. Now we need some iron nails. Five pieces of iron ore should suffice. Use your pickaxe and mine them from the metal loads you see around. Just picture in those loads the head of the guy that sold you the deed to the tavern. I bet that'll help. Also, we need fuel for the smelter. So while you're at it, mine some coal from the coal loads. So we're really going to town here. <clears throat> okay, so this seems like a good place to put things. Um... And I'll clear stuff out just to make sure we actually get to... I don't know if it'll overwrite this or just destroy it, but we may as well take it here. Um, smelter. Smelter. Okay. Also, let's grab this and go grab some stuff. Okay, we got some coal. And... I'm assuming this is iron. Oh, this is copper. <laughs> All right, well, that's cool. We're getting some copper. There we go, there's the iron, obviously. We gotta go find another chunk. Let me just have a sip of water. We're almost.
almost done. Just as with carpentry zone, we have to establish a smithing zone. To do so, just place the smelter in a free area and then the blacksmith table in the same area. Like I said before, you'll need fuel for them. So once they're placed, approach and press Y. Once you add fuel of whichever type, you can begin crafting the bars. Okay, let's... So we've depleted those. So, I mean, we've got the ore kind of scattered out all over the place here. Um, right here is probably as good a spot as any. This is off to the side. Place the smelter. So is that the smelter? That is the smelter. Place the blacksmithing table. Okay. Okay. So first we make the smelter zone. Um... It seems like it should want a place there. Oh. Let's see. See, it shows a green thing. I'm wondering if because there's obstacles in the outer area. Okay, let's just stop with that and go... Um, Right around here. Okay, and then let's come and grab... Let's get rid of uh, this and this, and we'll grab this shovel. Oop, uh, you. Pick up. Okay, so we're going to want these later, because we, we do need to plant some things, but... For now. Okay. Place. There we are. And then we can place this. Place that there. Uh, craft two iron bars. Okay. None of fuel. Okay. Uh, fuel. So we can choose coal or wood. Uh, and then open, and we'll make the iron bars. Okay, those are busy now. Will you look at that burn? At this rate, we'll have some iron bars ready in no time. Until they're done, we cannot make the iron nails. So in the meantime, you should place the stone workstation. Is all this really necessary? Of course it is. Running a tavern takes a lot more work than just standing behind a bar. If you think you can get your business to succeed selling rats and third-rate beer, good luck with that. All right, it may as well do as you say. That's what I like to hear. Now clear an area, place the stone workstation already, and craft those iron nails at the blacksmith table with the iron bars you just made. Place the stone workstation, craft the iron nails. Okay. Okay, so I've got another... <laughs> wow. So I'm going to have to find another area for that. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, let's pick that up. Uh, curse me as well. I'm going to take these. These. What are? I don't even know what these are. But I'm going to plant, so we can't plant that close. Okay, plant. Plant. So they need one space. Plant. And then plant. As I go, I'm going to try to just keep replanting these things instead of A, having them clog my inventory, and B, using them all up. Uh, you know what? This looks like a good enough place. Let's do this. We'll do it right below this, because there's stone right here. And I don't know if, the, if this renews or what the story is with any of this stuff. Okay, there we go. And then craft five iron nails at the blacksmith table. Okay, I need the bars. Let's collect the bars. Uh, craft five iron nails. Okay. Oh, fuel. <laughs> there we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Our beer should be ready. So we should head back inside. Meet you at the crafting room. All right. Uh, so yeah, I feel like we're, we're getting a hang of things here. This is looking good. So we've got our ores. We've got some stone. We've got a pile of trees. Yeah, we've got saplings that keep growing. Once again, you know, it does make me think, like, should I just then... You know, keep my sprouts and just put them in kind of a zone that is going to be convenient to me. 
I don't know. I feel like I do want to do that. Then we can kind of grow forest off to the side and it'll be super handy. Or maybe not. I, I truly have no idea how I should go about this, but being organized seems like it's going to matter here. Boo. Ha. You should see your face. It never gets old. All right. Now, seriously, it's the moment of truth. The beers we started crafting early should be ready now. Approach the fermentation tank and pick up the beers if you haven't done so already. Though I should warn you that alcoholic beverages can't be served fresh out of the tank. Any drink with alcohol you craft needs to be aged before you can serve it. Aging drinks doesn't just strengthen their flavor and aroma, it raises their value too. There are different stages of aging, so the longer you wait, the better the drink will turn out. The good news is that it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the cellar and add the drinks to the aging barrels. Yes, the same ones you got the foul-smelling beers from. Let's go down and remember to bring the beers you're going to age. Some recipes like cheese or alcoholic drinks require aging before they can be sold. An item that needs to be aged will be marked as unaged and cannot be sold. To add aged newly crafted beers, go to the cellar and open the, one of the aging barrels with Y. Each barrel can store 30 beers of the same type. Once the beers have been added, you just have to wait. Beers have four stages, unaged up to Grand Reserve, and each stage increases the selling price by 10%. Okay, let's collect that. Let's go down here. I'm getting tired. All right, you have the beers with you. Now just approach the aging barrels and interact. Add the beer you want to add to them. So we'll add it. Okay, let's start aging 20 lagers. That's it. Now it's just a matter of time. While the beers are aging, we should put together more materials to repair the tavern. You can take care of that, right? Or at least you should know everything you need to know. But by now, to get everything we need, take this list and craft, it, craft everything on it. Once you do, come and see me again and we can begin. Okay, so let's get 15 planks, iron nails, and polished stones. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward, I think. Okay, uh, 10 iron nails. So let's, no, we got fuel, so open it up. Um, okay, we got some iron bars going. Let's go over here. How much wood do I have? 15 wood planks, okay. Okay, let's grab these. And let's come over here and go Oh, did I pass out? Is that what happens at 3 o'clock? Right, we're going to keep going a bit. My goal is to kind of just get through the basic tutorial-ish stage of this. And then we can uh, really get going here. Okay, so all the ores seem to basically renew like almost daily here. We had stuff from last time. Okay, so open. Polish stone. So that's going to be six. Okay, we're going to collect our stuff here. We're going to come over here. I'm going to need to probably put some fuel in, right? Put some of this in. Oop. Oh, no, fuel. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, we're going to make some more, iron, uh, more nails here. Let's chop down a few more trees. That looks like I got a grub there. Is that what that is? Larva. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting lots of larvas. Perfect. You know how we love a larva. So, 12 o'clock. Yeah, I don't know how the time... I haven't paid any attention to the time on uh, anything yet, so we'll see how that goes. And it seems like... I, I'm going to guess that the resource management component of this isn't going to be the part that is going to be really bogging me down. I'm going to guess that this will be pretty straightforward once we're sort of set up and going, and that uh, the running of this place is going to be... <laughs> More of like a 
uh, you know, a cooking game. Uh, I feel like there's gonna be a little bit of like a rushing around going on. Maybe, maybe not. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of resources while we're sort of getting going, I think. It feels like this would be the right approach. Just so we're not uh, getting got, caught kind of um, in the middle of chaos later. Okay, so let's go get some wood processing. Oh, there's more stone here. Look at that. And since this stuff renews like constantly, it does seem like it, it might be in our interest to gather up a lot right away. Oh, good. And more coal because I'm going to need this because I was using a bit of wood and I don't really want to do that. So let's get this other sapling. Okay. Now let's come here, collect our wood. Now we'll get some more wooden planks going. Okay, we'll get some firewood going. And... Go collect all of our stuff, basically. Um, and we'll get all these saplings and uh, we'll get that going. I don't know, I'm assuming I need to go and water these crops every day. Again, I'm, I know I'm running a little bit ahead here, but I figured I uh, may as well <laughs> just save some grief. Okay, so there's lots of stuff, resources all over here, kind of hiding in. And again, because these don't um, deplete, we know that these are going to be regenerative. That's really nice. Is there anything else hiding back here? Okay, well, that seems to be it. So let's now go and get all of our saplings that we found. Got nine of those there. One of those there. I don't know the difference in the different kinds of saplings, so that'll we'll see with that. Okay. This should be handy. Okay, so let's go now and get planting. And I guess actually we'll also mine some more coal while we're at it. Very good. Okay, let's plant. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, I can't plant anymore there. Oh. Okay, so it kind of curves inward at that point. We can plant another one there. Okay, we'll plant the last ones <laughs> here. There we are. So there's a lot of things. So let's collect our goods. We got our polished stones. We've got our nails. And let's go get our planks. Oh, and let's also dig up this sapling. Grab it and go put it. Uh, you know, I don't know. They, none of this may matter. <laughs> Like, I might regret being this organized, but I don't feel like I will. Can I put anything else down here? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was more than I thought I had. <laughs> okay, where did that one go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, let's walk this way. Plant that there. All right. Good stuff. Um, so let's fuel this thing. And we'll open it and we'll make some iron bars. Um, fuel, open, and we'll make some nails, 
And then we'll come and grab our watering can. And we'll see if that does anything. It seems watered. I don't think I need to water it. I don't know if that's like a one-time deal or what that's going to be. Okay, collect your wooden planks. What? You have it all already? Wow, you're efficient. Very good. Let's waste no time building anymore. Time to begin rebuilding. That's the spirit. I hope you haven't made any plans, lad, because this will take a while. Oh. <laughs> that's a good way to try and crash a game. Let's start mashing things. Okay. Phew, I'm exhausted, but it looks like we're all done. It's been ages since I've seen the tavern look so immaculate. It's wonderful, but we've done an amazing job. Listen, I admit I had you all wrong. You're not so bad after all. Anyway, enough chit-chat. We're almost ready to open. A few more details and you'll be an official tavern keeper. Before anything else, we should harvest the crops. Remember those crops you planted a few days ago? Go back there and pick them, why don't you? Shouldn't give you any trouble. Just approach it. A ready crop and use A. Though now that I think of it, not all crops are harvested that way. Wheat and other grains need to be harvested with the scythe. Bah, don't worry about that. Collect the crops and just enjoy yourself. There's nothing more satisfying than reaping the fruits of one's labor. Okay, let's go and harvest the... Okay, and then we do need to go... There we go. Can I accidentally... No, I can't murder those, so that's good. Perfect, we can make a lot of things with that. I'm sure you've noticed that some crops died once you harvested them, while others remain. Some crops yield multiple harvests while they're alive. You just need to make sure you water them every three days to keep the soil moist. Oh look, the poor tea crops are completely dry. How about you water them again to revive them? Remember that dry crops start growing? Uh, there we go. Dry crops before they yield. Uh, still much better. Still, crops don't die if you don't water them. They just stop growing. Crops only die if the season changes and they can't be grown in the new season. When that happens, the plant will wither and you'll have to use a scythe to free its spot. Do you follow? I think that's all. Moment of truth. Let's see what the beer of ours is like after aging. Meet you in the cellar. Okay. Wow, look at this. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I want to decorate. <laughs> but I got, I got obligations. The beer you made has reached the maximum level of aging, and now we have a grand reserve beer to serve our new customers. Brilliant. Don't just celebrate yet. Aged or not, bad beer is still bad beer. I'm not about to let you serve any old things, so we should taste it first. Gods have mercy on my soul. Beloved parents, soon we shall reunite. Farewell, lad. Remember me as I lived. Beautiful and pure of heart. My gods, this is, this is delicious. You like it? Mmm, yes, it is all right, I suppose. You've passed. We're ready to open. How is that possible, that lad? Let's go, no time to waste. Okay, oh, I didn't pick up the beer. Oh, there we go. Add the beer to one of the taps. Cake is empty. Ali oop, here I am again. The time has come to open the tavern. The first thing you must do is prepare your products. Add the dishes you wish to serve on the menu and add the beers you've crafted to the taps. Okay, let's go get our food. That's it. You remember how you open the tavern, right? You just have to press the down. Go ahead, do the honors, and let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay. Um, so we've got our, our items that we can do here. That's nice. I... Do you have we have more grilled steak? Put in some more fuel. Uh, I'll open that and uh, we'll put in these. Okay. Accept. There we go. Open this, uh, okay, we don't know how to use that, and do I have any materials here? Okay, we've got some things happening. Let's go check our book. We've got some stuff there, and let's open the tavern. All right, um, so now we can put down a Place that, and we've got um, 
Look, our first customer. All right, all right, nobody panic. This is different from when we practiced earlier with the rat skewers. See the bar over the, the action bar? That's the tavern's reputation. When a customer leaves the tavern's reputation will rise or fall according to the service we've given them. Things like attending them quickly, keeping the tavern clean, and decorating the dining room will increase the reputation, forcing everyone out at closing time, or letting the tavern get too cold or the tables too dark will decrease the reputation. Well, let's not waste another minute. Serve some customers and let's see how it goes. Now that you're dealing with real customers, remember everything you've learned to give them the best service possible. Pay attention to their orders and serve them quickly, be it the bar or their tables. Also keep in mind the floor and the tables will get dirty. You must keep things clean. Okay, so let's serve you. Uh, pour a drink. What can I get you? Okay, you want a beer? What would you like? Uh, you would like a beer? Okay, we got some some mess here. Let's not hit customers. So I don't have the thing they want. I, I don't know what this means here. Um... Okay, let's get our uh, candlestick holders. Okay, um, and yeah, again, this this is confusing. I'm not sure what this means. Oh, okay, water. Yep, I can do that. Clean a table, clean two floor stains. Yeah, I hear you, bud, but I don't have that. What can I get you? Yes, I forgot one of those. Okay, water for you. So I gotta remember to reload that as we've only got 20 some cups there. Okay, water for you. Okay, and uh, we've got our customers dealt with. I just gotta clean some floor stains. So somebody make a mess, go for it. Somebody just, you know, get decide that this food is awful after all and get sick on the floor or whatever it is you're gonna do. So this is good. We're making some cash, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't quite understand what that... Is this just telling me that there's an open... Ah, maybe that's what that is. That's just notifying to me that there is an order that's open. This is like my... Uh, whatever you call that. In a restaurant, it's... Uh, is it your expo? It's your... It's telling me uh, this is my order's up. Uh, looking for another floor stain. You all want to get me some more of those. Okay, let's keep that floor nice and clean. Somebody wants another water? Wow. You guys are really uh, hitting it hard. Take it easy, okay? okay I don't want to uh, have to send anybody to the hospital here. Getting a little bit crazy here. Okay. And then, so I guess we just put these on the table. Okay, uh, let's get out of there. Calm them down. Okay, and then we gonna have some unruly customers. 
Goodness. Oh, also the fireplace will consume fuel, so make sure you have enough to keep it lit as long as you need to. If the temperature rises and it's still lit, customers will feel too hot, which isn't good either. Come on, light it before our customers freeze to death. Okay, okay, I'll pipe down. Okay. Much better now. Service can continue as normal. Remember, if you run out of food or drink, you can make some more with the ingredients you've obtained. I'm afraid I can't help you there, but I've always been more of a hunter than a cook, but perhaps this old recipe book can help you. I'm sure you'll find some useful recipes within. If you need more ingredients or you want to decorate the tavern some more, you go to the city to get whatever you need. Now you've got some money coming in. Anything is possible. That's all for now, little bird. Time to spread your wings. Make sure you always have meals prepared and to give the best service you can. If you manage both, you'll raise the tavern's reputation in no time. All right. And the, the other wanting things I don't have. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I, I don't have that thing. But that would be cool if I did, right? That would be nice. Okay. And I don't know what the... Okay. Wipe the table down. Hey, buddy. Uh, sure. Got one of those. What can I get you? Got one of those. So, uh, level up your reputation. Right, so I can see we've got our reputation bar there. Yep, water coming up. So I can imagine this gets, once you get more tables, which we will, and once you get like four taps, this is gonna get bananas. This is good. Uh, so yeah, reputation continuing. Good, good. I don't know how long it takes to level up from level zero. I would imagine a little bit. I don't know if it's contingent on people like leaving and co like coming and going. Okay, so it's 3.40. I also had no conception of time. <laughs> this place is the pits, calm them down. Service here is terrible. Yeah, yeah, I'm out of here. That's good. Okay. So again, we're, we'll keep moving that reputation marker. Uh, what would you like? There we go, we got some reputation, I see. And back over here. Hello, friend. What can I get you? So what other decorative things did we acquire? Um, that's kind of it, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these, uh, these maggoty looking things. Right. Well, these people are they're giving me money for the water. And my dude, I don't I just don't have I'm sorry, ma'am. So you can't even try to like give them something else. So it takes a while to, to upgrade that the f initial reputation, it would seem. Um, and again, I yeah, I don't know what I do it, when people ask for things that we don't have. Like if there's a idea, should I be giving them something else? Oh. Oh, okay. They took that. I see. <laughs> All right. Well, that that fixes that, doesn't it? 
Okay, put out fire uh, or open it. We can always put in more logs. That's good. Um, the the light is still there. So we can put it in the candle holder. There we go. So that's nice. This place is looking classy. Calm down. Okay, okay, I'll put it down. Okay, somebody wants some water. So I don't know, it might take a few days to get a reputation all the way up to level one. I'm not sure how, the, again, this is going to go. And I don't know if it matters, like the amount I serve them or whatever, you know, sort of improves the amount of um, reputational, how the timers work, all that. So far, so good, though. I, yeah, my, my brain is definitely, it's a long intro for sure, but I, I didn't mind it a bit. I think it was a quite a good intro. I think it did its job. It, there's a lot to learn here. And I, I do remember, I, I don't remember having a problem with it when I went through before, uh, but I also, I don't remember how much handholding there was. Um, but it's, it's good. I liked it immediately. I remember that. Uh, there just, you know, there was a kind of a wall of content, like it wasn't there yet. Um, so far, this is really excellent at kind of telling you what you're going to need to do, how to do it, and then letting go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be curious to see exactly how this all plays out. Um, the town is amazing. That part is really cool. I'm excited to see how that's all going to go. All right, here you go. And we got 33 silver, 20 copper, or whatever that is. So there we go. We got we gained 48 reputation points with that character. I'm not sure how many reputation points are each person, like how that works. Um, satisfaction. There's our satisfaction. Yep, things are looking good. Uh, reputation zero. Serve 20 customers. 19 were satisfied. I expelled three. <laughs> okay. All right, I will give you a drink. I'm gonna run out here soon. All right, let's go and get you. I can see very soon you'd, you'd start to resent the uh, the clientele. <laughs> Okay, and I don't know what point we kind of call last orders. Like, I'm assuming soon here, because I'm going to run out of liquor. Yeah, I think we will do last call. And then we'll see what happens. So it might take a couple days, I'm guessing, to kind of level up our reputation on that. Okay, we got 40... 27. Oh, 53. Some, this is good. We might actually have enough at the end. 52. Oh my gosh, almost enough. That was uh, so close. Wow. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we could open for like another minute. We could serve one more person. Is that what we could do? It's 2100. Um, okay. So they just took food instead. Okay, that was good. There we go. So we got enough uh, people in here to do the thing. So they're all having a meal. That was nice because they saw, I guess they saw we were out of booze and they didn't freak out, <laughs> which is good. 
there we go. Reputation reward one. Skill point one. Recipe fragments plus ten. Uh, accept that. And everyone's going to leave. And that's going to put a, it's a decent little chunk into level one. So it seems like, I don't know how many hundreds we need there. Hey, it's that new tavern keeper I've been hearing all about. <laughs> Did you see your customers' faces? I can't remember the last time someone walked out of that door looking that satisfied. You've impressed me, lad. I've been around town and people are already singing our praises. Anyway, I'm glad things are going well. Who knows? Perhaps you'll be able to turn this tavern's luck around. Of course, you did have a great teacher. Very true. Thank you for everything, Mai. Oh, shush. You're going to make me blush. By the way, you never told me why you decided to buy this tavern. I'm going to go up against the fellowship of tavern keepers. Ha ha, okay, I deserve that. No, really, why a tavern? I told you I'm going to defend, defeat the fellowship. Listen, do you understand what you're saying? Members of our fellowship have been protecting, perfecting their skills for years. A rookie like you doesn't stand a chance. Besides, fame and glory aren't good reasons to get into this business, young man. Do you want to be another power-hungry, big-headed idiot? Rygar's teachings have been warped enough. That's not it. I want to help people make a difference. This lad here reminds me so much of him. All right, follow me. Where are we going? A special place you'll see once we get there. Here it is. Oh, this brings me back. This old slab? It's not a slab, you simpleton. Right in front of you. Step aside. I need a moment. The path is clear. Time for your last test. But what's inside there? You'll have to see for yourself. If what you told me is true, this will help you achieve your goals. If it isn't, then you're not worthy. Well, it's been nice knowing you. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. At the back of the cave, you'll find a portal. Cross it and let instinct guide you forth. What? Light Rygar's torch. Okay, well, we'll do it. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Okay, light Rygar's torch. Raise your glasses, custodians of ancient legacy, for knowledge recorded will never fade from memory. Okay, light the fire. Woomph. Unlock your first recipe. That's my next step. I, my first recipe is going to be, uh, what is it? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Ooh, dramatic. Like that. Okay, let's go back through the portal. No, I'm not ready yet. Oh, okay, what else do we have to do here? Do we got to read more? Oh, I see. Wow. So I can pick one. Onion rings or salad. Is that it? Sausage. Toast, turn of cream soup, corn chowder. Okay, what do we want to do? Onion rings? Onion rings might be good. Onions, breadcrumbs, oil, salad is lettuce, vegetables, vegetables. Turn of cream soup, uh, turn of spring onion, meat broth, corn, corn, cream broth, potato. Sells for a lot, but you know. Egg, butter, sugar. Cake it easy. You know, this might be good. Egg, butter, sugar. I don't know how we're going to get those. <laughs> Um, okay, I guess. Go onion rings? Oh, do we get to choose all of these? Is that the deal? Okay. Oh, here's my basket. I see. Ah, gotcha. I have 10 things and I can only, I got you, okay. Um, this is where I come shopping to learn new things. That's very cool. So, um, okay, let's do that and we'll buy these. All right, there we go. So we bought, uh, this is where we buy our new recipes. <laughs> That's bananas. I like it. No idea if anything else happens here. Oh, we go mining down here? That's kind of cool. Right, so this is like a, if you've run out of other things to do, you come into the, the dank cavern of doom here and uh, get some stuff. Huh. And I guess we'll go fishing here, once we eventually know about the fishing. Which, of course, we don't.
That's cool. All right. Um, yeah, that's going to help. Oh, and then what do we have here? Got some copper, and we can collect some mushrooms. White button mushrooms? Yes, please. Some more mushrooms. There's, you know, there, it, it, nothing wrong with picking all of your food from the, the mines here. I guarantee you it's all going to be perfectly good. Uh, I'll take the bat as well. Is there anything else in here, or is it just sort of up here around that same area? Am I supposed to be afraid of the bats? I don't know. Oh, can I take the bats out? Let's see. Or is that it? Is there no more bats? Have I spooked all the bats away? Let's try this. No, I can't make bats too. Bat wings are not on the menu. I tried. <laughs> okay, you're back and in one piece. I knew from the moment I met you that you had it in you, but you wanted me to leave. That just a test, of course. In your past, no one else has been able to light Ragnar's torch in centuries. Perhaps you do stand a chance after all. So be able to defeat the Fellowship? Well, it's still too early to tell. Perhaps with the help of a beautiful and experienced Bogart you might. What, you want me to stay with you and be your mentor? I'm not sure, lad. You know how busy I am. You have to. Uh, I don't know if you have other... Oh, you don't have to. If you have other things you need to do. All right, all right, you can stop begging. I knew you'd be completely lost without me. Back to work. Let's return to the tavern and see how you manage on your own. Wow. So uh, now it's got me curious about this collecting, you know, mushrooms and things, right? Wild herbs. Yeah, see? Kindling. So there's things we can collect here as we go. So we can do foraging as well. That's cool. And there's mushrooms up there, but I don't know how I get to those. <laughs> Sorry, now I'm all like intrigued by what we can accomplish here. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of foraging. Well, that's cool. Uh, don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Neat. Uh, I don't know where we came from. <laughs> oh, there's uh, a sign here. Okay, it'll tell us. Come here, come on. Oh, look at this this gang. The Pharaoh thing is a disgrace, but we have families to support. Alright, there's something going on here. No idea. So there's some people that are working the mines here. So we're getting a variety of little things. This is very handy though. We am totally going off the track here, but I'm super intrigued by all of the, uh, the stuff here. I'm going to leave them be. I don't want to really get too deep into that. Okay, so that is to where? The north of the farm? Oh. <laughs> Did not notice that previous. Uh, while we're at it, let's go and fill up this. And, ah, it's good to be back. The tavern really does look incredible. That said, if you want to challenge, challenge the fellowship of tavern keepers, we'll need to raise and raise our reputation to get their attention. I've given you some tips, but the rest is up to you. I'll try and see what I can find out about the current members of the fellowship. In the meantime, keep doing what you learned. Got it? Yes, May. All right, then. Let's hope the tavern is still standing when I'm back. Try not to make too much of a mess of things, rookie. You'll do great, lad. You're my last hope. Very cool. Okay, so let's... Um, put this in here. Yeah, open that up. Oh, there we go. And uh, uh, we got to go to bed, I guess. So that is us. That's a first uh, a first day. Well, first episode. Um, wowzers. That was a, a lot. And that was really well done. I'm looking forward to continuing on here. We'll see how uh, things go. But I mean, I've got a good feeling so far. We've, we've made a pretty good dent. Um, yeah, I love the systems. I love everything so far. The the animation style, the, uh, the way everything fits together. I think this is going to be a fun one. Looking forward to it. All right, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.